it's Gabby here with Ready and Art Inspirations. If you're new, this channel is all about easy, fun, and fast face paint tutorials every single week. In today's design, now that Halloween is just around the corner, of course we're gonna be bombarding you with Halloween design. I mean, not only do we keep, you know, bags of candy in the house, but now we have so many Halloween designs all are up in our mind, but not like in the, around the house, because that'd be crazy. So today's design is going to be a fast eye design with a pumpkin and some beautiful other details. As we all know, Halloween is one of the busiest times of the year. And in many cases, when you're doing a public event, sometimes some of your longest lines. So this design that we're gonna be showing you today is perfect for kids, teens, and adults but you can also do it in a very short time or like a time crunch to really get that line going but also keeping it Halloween themed. We are very excited to show you this design because I promise you it is so easy yet it is beautiful. And with that being said, let's get, let's started. get started. We are gonna go from this to this. Here are the supplies we're going to be using today. First, we're going to sponge the around the eye area in gold. You can't really see it with this lighting, but it does look a lot better in person, kind of like a makeup highlight. And then next, you're going to draw a pumpkin on the eye. You also couldn't see it on the face, so we're showing you on the practice part with a filbert shaper and with an orange rainbow cake, whatever other rainbow cake you like. That's exactly how you're going to do it. Once you have the base down, then with a number one or number two round brush, load it in black to create your stem and that longish looking swirl and then three normal or backwards teardrops that are going to be used for your webs. Then very thinly, you're going to have the lines connect and make sure that they fall in the exact same line and not just randomly. And then you're going to add or backward or normal teardrops on the bottom of your pumpkin. And we're going to do the exact same technique. Very thinly, you're going to add your lines and make sure that they're all on the exact same line and not randomly. This way it looks a lot cleaner because as we all know, spiders are perfectionists. Okay, uh, quick story time. So this one time I was face painting way when I was very young and this guy was like, hey, do you like horses? And he was like a solid 60 years old. He's like, yeah, do you want to paint my chest? And he lifts off his shirt. I'm like, um, so he's like, yeah, so uh, I'm just going to sit in your chair. Can you paint me? And I'm like, I'm at work and this is, I feel very uncomfortable. I'm like barely from the fetus. Please know I have work to do. Please leave me alone. I really want to go and just, I want to cry. Please leave. Okay, thank you. Back to the design. Now with your number one or number two brush, just add one more teardrop near the stem of your pumpkin. I did forget to add the area of when we outline the pumpkin, but it's, it's pretty self-explanatory. Now we're using a spiderweb stencil using star blend black and using a dry brush with the star blend black. It is better than sponging black because it just oh, it's a lighter look. Next, we're using a bat stencil with the exact same technique to create this look. And then, with a number one brush, load it in white just to add some details and some highlights to your design. Very simple, very easy, and now we're adding vivid glitter. We're using Lava Pool just for the center of the pumpkin, and then my favorite glitter of all time, Electro Shock, just around the areas that you, th that you think might need it, which is kind of any gaps that you might see. Now it's time for lipstick. Every girl's favorite thing about face painting and they always give you those awkward faces, but you know, it ends up looking amazing. And here is the design. If you like, we also added a little bit of glitter on the other side using Lava Pool by Vivid Glitter just to give it a more complete look, but this is also optional. We're just doing it for you guys to get a little bit of extra, whoop, you know? And here is the finished look, but now we're gonna show you on the practice board.
pumpkins here and a lot of pumpkins going on. And whenever I see a pumpkin, I just have to sing the song by Jack the Skull Guy from Nightmare Before Christmas, Pumpkin King. I don't even know the lyrics, but I like that song. I mentally sing it to myself when I see pumpkins all the time. And if you like these kinds of videos, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so that you never miss a video. See you guys next week. Bye-bye.